I have some eyeballs right now. That is a weird way to start off a video. Hey everybody, I've got eyeballs. Whoa. I've got a figurine. Okay, so the eyeballs give me figurines. Nasty looking figurines, but figurines nonetheless, and I imagine I'm using them in, in the um in the place around here. In the lily pond. Lily pond. Okay, so um Oh, I can rotate things. Okay, so the colors must be the the trick. So red and blue here and black and yellow there. Wait a minute. I wonder what the what the angry eyes means. Okay, so that was idea. If it's saying that on the on the left we have red, blue, and black, like this, and then it's going to be black and then yellow like this. Okay, so the black relevant to the yellow goes... Okay, okay. That makes sense. I was just going from left to right because that was the direction the clues were in. What is this? Mystery planter, the eternal flower is dead. Dead? How is the eternal flower dead? It's supposed to be eternal. No, seriously, it is supposed to be eternal, right? Okay, so the eternal flower, we, 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 we've been looking for this eternal flower to help save a girl named Fiona who is kidnapped by the Shade, who is some sort of evil, violent fairy. And we are doing it at the request of a dryad. Well, I have a bunch of planter pieces. Um, dryad, what are we supposed to do here? It's dead. Erfnafola, what have you done? It's dead! Oh wait, the bad guy did this. We need to stop Eternal Winter. I fear the worst for Fiona. I'm so weak, but maybe you can finish. Take the seed and grow a new flower. Thank you. Can I do it? I don't think so, but I will try. I will try for your sake, Dryad. Okay, so I, I put the pieces here. I do, and this gives me a jigsaw puzzle. three-dimensional jigsaw puzzles. I'm gonna use a hint there. Right? Like, that looked like it went there. That looks like it goes there. And that goes there. Okay, put my soil, put the seed pod, should probably use some water. Get some water here. There we go, that's an eternal flower. I cut it with my knife. And I think we're done with this the, the this area. I think we're done. Here's your flower. Well done. Now you need to give the flower to Fiona. Her magic will help you on your next step. Yes, she's young, but she's got lots of magic. That's why the Shade kidnapped her. Fiona's the only human I've ever befriended. I place great trust in you, as she did when she left that locket to you. Well, Fiona didn't really have a choice. I was the only person around, but sure, we're best friends and she really trusts me. Give her the eternal flower. Don't fail us. Good luck, mortal. Okay, not to be like a worry wart questioner, um, but how how do I help Fiona? And why is there evil scary music? Do I do I do it with her reflection thing? Like her reflection. You did it! Put the flower charm on the locket 
You must find four more. What? Okay, so it's one of these games, isn't it? Okay. So it's a game where it looks like we have five different chapters. And this fits here. In each chapter, we get a flower. Uh-oh. Shade. Shade, stay away from me. Oh, so creepy without the eyes or anything. Just kind of dead hollow sockets and... If I'd ever doubted my own courage, I proved myself then, standing there in the presence of the Shade. Yeah, he, he, he's pretty nasty. I don't like him. Whoa. He needs to see a dentist. When he finally disappeared, I ran. I ran as fast as my legs would take me. So I guess that means I wasn't really brave. I was just brave for a few seconds, and then I ran like a baby, screaming home. But instead of safety, I found someone, or something, ransacking my house. <gasps> it was a monster from the painting! I saw that monster in the painting in the previous video. What is attacking my house? This is not cool. Chapter 2. The Intruder. He escaped through here. I can't crawl through that. That that is that is way too small for me. Fiona wasn't alone. Who are these people? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Uh I don't know. Let's use a hint. Hint says I need to do something here. Do I do I widen the hole? Oh. Oh, there's a key. Well that's nice. Thank you evil-looking intruder. You, you helped me get inside my own house. Still have no idea why my own house was locked off like that. It, you really think they should have... Oh, a picture of a girl's childhood. Must be Fiona. It won't budge. And this is a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Looks like we're finding wooden tiles. Looks like all of the wooden tiles, uh, I imagine they go directly on that door we saw earlier. And they're all diamond shape. Um, can I open this? Yes, I can. I don't see another one anywhere, so let's look elsewhere. Family portrait, Fiona. Fiona and her mother. Uh, Fiona takes after her mother, it looks like. And wait. Is that batteries? What? You know what happened to Fiona's parents, I wonder? Uh, oh, I imagine this is where the batteries are going to go when I find a second battery. Okay. No clicking from the clock. And let's use a hint. Final wooden tile here. Beautiful. So I have wooden tiles, and this is an attic. I, 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 I can't reach it. That's way too far away for me to reach. Tiles here. Whoa. Um, we're supposed to move tiles around until the strings are all connected? Let me try something. Let me see if this is a puzzle. Aha, it is. This is a puzzle where if you get a piece in the right spot, it, it gets frozen in place and can no longer be moved. So usually with those puzzles, I just take this one piece, I, I find one piece, and I try it in every spot until I figure out where it goes. Okay. Perfect. There's a trick to flipping the switches. Oh, man. Okay, so one. And then two. Looks like this is three. Four. Five. Just be very careful. It looks like I'm just following these along the way they're going. Seven. Eight. 
And Fiona, Fiona, why would you lock your bedroom so well? Ooh, more batteries. Ooh, and a fairy thing. Right, I'm supposed to be looking for fairy statues. Does anybody see any fairy statues? There we go. I haven't really found any... I haven't found any fairy statues downstairs, so I, I'm just guessing. There aren't any. Flash... No, okay, go through here, then use the flashlight. Fairy statue. Do we have a light switch? Whoa. Ah! I, I see, I see, it's evil in there, and I'm looking for light bulbs. Whoa. Oh. I'm just destroying everything in my quest for light bulbs. I'm just trashing this poor stranger's house. Oh wait, it's my house now. I guess I can trash it. How, how do I not notice the evil thing in the background which is very evil and looking at me and obvious and blatant and evil? Okay, I need three more. Four. Four more. There's one. It looks like I've run out of things to move. I have not. One more. Okay. Maybe there's another thing I can interact with and just move around. I'll use a hint if I can't find it on my own. Hint is probably gone for a while, though. Okay. So I imagine when I find the bulbs, I'll use them on the chandelier. And then I might be able to look around this room, because it looks like I can't look around the room right now. Just because it's too dark. I still don't... I... I... There we go. There we go. It's a hobgoblin. Rawr, rawr, grown our are hungry. Looks like the hobgoblin wants food. She hugged this bear a lot. The stuffing's coming out. So let's cut the bear's heart out. Cut, 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 cut. Cut. Bear actually had a heart. What do you know? Is there anything else in this room I can take? I I've got a board. What kind of art would Fiona put above her bed? I don't know. I, I know nothing about this child. Is... Give me... Oh, okay, so it's saying it's very hungry, and it's holding a weapon, which makes me think if I don't give it food, it's going to hurt me. So heart goes here. Now to set the... Set the time? Excuse me. The clue is somewhere in the house. The clue to the time. Okay, that looks like a clue. Oh, it's a picture of Fiona. Did she know the hobgoblin was watching her? Answer, probably not. It's a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. It looks like this is about hobgoblins. Likes eggs and new clothes. So does this go here? Here we go. Hobgoblin. That looks like it goes there. Yeah, I'm definitely making a picture of the hobgoblin here. A map, and now, now I can use the map to go somewhere. Oh, wait, there's a barn? How does using the map take me to the barn? 
I don't know, but we've got... Wow, that is a fat... That is a fat sheep. No need to use violence. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't trying to hurt the sheep. I was trying to shear the sheep. Wow. Okay, I was in my house fighting an evil hobgoblin, and now I'm outside at a barn. I have such a strange life. I wonder if I'd like a quiet life on the farm. Probably better than being attacked by a hobgoblin, I imagine. Wait, isn't this my barn? It's saying I hope the my owner doesn't mind if I take a look at the top of the screen. This is not my barn, so I'm just wandering into some random person's barn, stealing their stuff. Wow. Let's use a hint. Um, yeah, okay. It's very strange. I like how the music just completely changed. We are in a barn. Oh, and I'm gonna need a hammer and nails. And that's... See you later, bird. Okay, and that's probably what I'm gonna get from this. There we go. I got a hammer and a wheel. Oh, do I need nails or do I just need a hammer? Boom. Boom. Areas with exclamation points have unfinished tasks. So is there an exclamation point at the barn? If I can reach it, I can smash in the glass. Maybe I can smash this in with a hammer. Okay, and this is where I find nails. <laughs> this is a strange... change... I can't... Oh, I can move some of these items. So I bet the final nails underneath something I can move. And there's the shade showing up for me clicking too many times in a row in a hidden object scene. No, but seriously, can I get back to my house? I don't... I don't... I don't understand how that took me to a barn. It looks like we have eight more areas that we can visit. it with a hammer. Okay, I used a blanket. And now I'm crawling in. Why am I breaking into this poor person's barn? I wonder if you really can find a needle in a haystack. Well, I'm not about to try. Scuff marks from furniture. This is used to card wool and make it fine. Great. Locked. Maybe the key is around here somewhere. Does that faucet really work? Now I have soap. This is so strange. Like, where? how does this tie into that hobgoblin? Oh, and there's a fairy. Right. I, I still need to keep an eye out for fairies. Pitchfork. I bet I'm going to use it here. There's another fairy. Okay, the haystack was covering this. Car keys. 
Sure, that's a good place as any to hide your car key, I guess. We have scissors here. We have a basket. Great, and what does my hint say? The hint says I'm doing something here at the faucet. I'm using the wrench on it. Okay. Now I can get water. The pitcher's real handy. Yeah, well why am I filling the pitcher, I wonder? I don't know, but it doesn't look like there's anything else here I can look at. Back here was a spinning, spinning thing, and this... That is for wool. So am I going to cut off wool with scissors? Was I supposed to grab the brush and then use it on the sheep? I don't know! I have no idea what I'm doing, or how this relates, like, like I've said, how this relates to that nasty hobgoblin creature. Mm. Did she know the hobgoblin was watching her? Do I have anything to reach up here? Use the stool in the workshop to reach the nest in the loft. Can I use it maybe here? To reach this thing? Hmm. Nope. Back to the barn. <laughs> okay, there's a nest here that I'm trying to reach. This nest. Okay. I'm not carrying around rotten eggs in my pocket. Why not? Basket. And that's what I give to the Hobgoblin? Here you go, Hobgoblin. You like eggs. Rawr, eggs! Rawr, rawr, rawr. Clothes? Ha 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 ha! You're not taking my clothes. Okay, um, yeah. So the Hobgoblin wants clothes. Perhaps the cane? Yes. Gets me up here. Are there any clothes here? No, that's an empty feed bag. Oh man, this. What is this? This is the find buttons challenge? Okay, so it looks like when you open a drawer, it automatically shuts after you find all of the buttons in that drawer. So that's helpful. I mean, it lets you know if you're finished with the drawer or not, right? Six buttons on the top, meaning we've got two buttons per thing. Okay, bunch of buttons. How we're going to turn wool in the clo- We are going to- Wait. We- We are totally going to make clothing out of the sheep's wool? That seems like a lot of work. This is a puzzle. This is a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. And yeah, like a puzzle before, if you get a piece in the right spot, it can no longer be moved. There we go. And we made a picture of flowers. This is a cloth pattern. Fiona and the Hobgoblin were in fact friends. They were friends and I found the fairy hidden in this room. Nice. So you need to 
Okay, you need to shear the sheep. Yeah, well, I know that. Okay, shear the sheep, then wash it, then then clean it out. I can feed the hay bag with the, the, the stuff from the loft. And is that going to feed this already humongous sheep? Oh, come on, the sheep has to like eating food. <laughs> come on! You can't fool me. Oh, it goes here? Whoa, the sheep. Sheep does not look so heavy when it's not lying down. Okay, so I'm shearing it. <laughs> so this is just the puzzle where you want to click all over the sheep in order to get some wool. Okay, we've got some dirty wool. Now we need to wash it. Where where am I going to wash my wool? Do I have a bucket or something? I have soap. I have soap. Bum, 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 bum. And then I'm going to clean it off with this, I imagine. Once, once, once I've got the clean wool. Okay, but where am I gonna find a, find a bucket? Here. I need soapy liquid. Okay, so I need water and then soap. Okay, move it around like crazy to wash it. Now it's clean. This is kind of a neat challenge, making, making sheep wool. So fine wool, do I put it on here? That is an empty frame, it needs a wheel. Now I need to press the pedal to spin it. Anything uh, particular here, or you just press it three times and now you have yarn. Okay, so the yarn is going to go in the loom, in the workshop, in the attic. So attic, workshop, loom. This is not a loom. This is a sewing machine. Okay, what was the hint? Weave the yarn with the loom in the workshop. Is this not the workshop? Was the workshop the place inside the barn? Because I already used that that thing, which is a spindly thing. So a loom is usually like a, a big shuttle here. Okay. I just need to finish the pattern and... Okay. So I imagine the pattern repeats in every row. So for example, this row looks like it's green, yellow, brown. Uh, green, yellow, gray, actually. Green, yellow, gray. So, yellow, green, gray, yellow, green, gray. Yellow, green, gray, there. And then in this row, it's red... Okay, orange, red, blue. Orange, red, blue. Orange, red, and blue. Here, it's yellow, green, gray. Okay, and then it's yellow, gray, green, yellow, gray, green, yellow, gray, green. Not too difficult. Blue, orange, red. Blue, orange, red. This looks like it's green here. And yellow there. Give me an uncut cloth. So I need to use the cloth and the attic table. Will I be able to finish this puzzle in this video? Not if I, not if I make a mistake like that. Let's try again. Down here. This teaches me, okay, now what do I do? I just cut it? I don't know what shape I'm cutting yet. Well, what shape are you cutting? Oh, we've got a pattern. Ah, here we go. I'm not that bad of a tailor. Okay, so cut one. That is awful, but it worked. 
Okay. I'm just making clothes for the hobgoblin. Why? What, ooh, ooh, there's another fairy. Ah, so we've got multiple hidden fairies per scene. Huh, that's rough. One, two, three. The last, it just needs buttons to close it up. And yes, I did solve the puzzle in this video. So in the next video, I will give, I will give the stuff to the hobgoblin.